Welcome to the Midlife Reinvention Podcast. I'm your host, Kavita, and the founder of Power Purpose Play, a global community of women in midlife. I'm here to tell you that it's your time now to rediscover what has always been inside of you and bring that out into the world. If you're wondering what's next, but don't know quite what that is, or if you feel a twinge in your heart telling you that you have so much more to do and so much more to offer, you're in the right place. Ask yourself, if not now, when? Do you want to leave your job? Start your own business? Take control of your health? Reignite the passion in your marriage? Write that book, or at least that first chapter? Transitions like this can be daunting, but through listening to my story and interviews with incredible women every week, I hope to inspire you to take action. I rediscovered myself after the age of 50, and I know you can too. It's my time now to help you do just that. I'm so excited you're here. Let's dive in. Hi, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Midlife Reinvention Podcast. I hope you are well right now, inside and out. I've been in a rather contemplative mood lately as I think about actually so many things at once. Sometimes do you feel like that? that your thoughts are going at 100 miles an hour and you really just feel like slowing down. I've given myself the opportunity to do that lately, to slow down and really contemplate on things, which I will share with you here today. At breakfast yesterday, my husband asked me a really simple question. He asked me, why are you doing what you're doing? It wasn't an accusatory or out of concern. It was just a curious question. And it got me thinking, why do we do the things we do? You've heard the phrase, you have this one life, what are you going to do with it? I think fundamentally, if we have a clear answer to that question, we are so much more far ahead. So I thought long and hard about that question, and I wanted to find out what the real answer is for myself so I could share it with you. If I boil it down to why I'm doing this, why am I spending my time now focused on helping women to realize that there's so much more still ahead of them. Why did I leave the comfort of my corporate career of 25 years to embark on something totally different at the age of 52, no less? Why do I feel the need to guide women like me on the path forward so they can see all the possibilities within themselves and so they can live an enriched, happy, and fulfilled life? I'm doing this because I can see the potential in people where they may not see it in themselves. I never saw the potential in myself for a long time. I was in my career initially because it was exciting and rewarding, and I wanted to learn and grow and move up the ladder of success. But then there came a time where I could really do what I was doing with my eyes closed. It didn't challenge me anymore. I was stagnant and I dare say stale. I didn't want to be in a position where I was going to do that for the rest of my life. If I hadn't made the move, I would never have discovered all that I have discovered and I'm still capable of. Don't get me wrong. I was scared shitless, but I did it anyway. I'm not saying everything is perfect. Of course it's not, but I feel happy and content knowing that if what I'm doing at least influences one person to recognize the potential within them, then I have succeeded. I want to serve as many people as possible to realize their dreams for their life and not just settle for just okay. If I look back on the last two years of my life, I can't believe how much I've grown. And that is why I'm doing this because I see so much potential in you, even if you may not see it in yourself. And I want to help you rediscover your uh, yourself and help you discover what's inside of you. I recently shared my mission to empower 1 million women in midlife to live the next stage of life to the fullest. You may say it's a lofty goal, arrogant even, but it's not about making money from 1 million people. I think that's what some people may think I mean. It's not about that. It's about touching at least 1 million lives in some way that makes them realize the true power and potential that they have inside of them. That is why I'm doing what I'm doing. It truly is. That is why I've decided to give my online course, It's My Time Now, away for free. 
I spend a lot of time, energy, and research creating this course. And if it's not for the benefit of as many people as possible, then why bother doing it? I'll get to that later. When I asked myself, why am I doing this? I wanted to go deeper. Why are you doing what you are doing? Are you at a stage in your life where you are feeling confused because it's almost like you're at a precipice of something new, but are not sure what that is? I was listening to a podcast interview with Oprah where she interviewed the author uh, by the name of Arthur C. Brooks. And he was talking about his wonderful book called Strength to Strength. And I just had to read it. In the book, he answers many of the questions that I seek. And I thought it may be helpful to you. So I'll, I'll bring some of the concepts here for you now. Firstly, why do we go through this phase of life in midlife where everything seems to change? This transition is real, but it doesn't have to be a crisis. Brooks talks about two types of intelligence. One is fluid intelligence. That is the ability to reason, think flexibly, and solve novel problems. The second is crystallized intelligence. That is defined as the ability to use stock of knowledge that was learned in the past, and this tends to increase with age through one's 40s, 50s, and 60s. Brooks says that when you are young, you have raw smarts. When you are old, you have wisdom. When you are young, you can generate lots of facts. When you are old, you know what they mean and how to use them. I find this fascinating because in our midlife, we tend to transition from fluid to crystallized intelligence. And this can be an extremely productive period in life if we allow it to do so. It is really about our outlook on life. Do you believe that the best years of your life are behind you or ahead of you? Many of you may know that I'm Hindu, and many of the teachings of our Eastern philosophies have become more investigated in the Western world. I have grown up with these teachings, and they may interest you. According to Hinduism, there are four stages of life called ashramas. The first ashrama is brahmacharya, the period of youth and young adulthood, dedicated to learning. The second period is grihastha, when a person builds a career, accumulates wealth, and maintains a family. This is a stage where people get, may get very attached to money, power, prestige, and therefore they may try to make the stage last a lifetime. Transitioning from this stage to the third stage can be difficult because it may mean letting go of things which defined us in the eyes of the world. The third stage is vanaprastha, which is Sanskrit for retiring into the forest. That doesn't mean we all have to retire at age 50 into the forest. It just means our life goals are readjusting, perhaps using more of our crystallized intelligence. The fourth and final stage is sannyasa, or renunciation, which is dedicated to the fruits of enlightenment. The reason I'm sharing this with you here is because these concepts of the stages and transitions in our life are not something we should be afraid of or avoid. Every stage has its beauty and benefits. As I contemplate my husband's question to me, I do realize that I am in the Vanaprastha stage, and I believe it's beautiful. It can be for you too. We can relearn what is valuable to us. We can learn new skills, experience new things, meet new people, grow like we've never been had before. It's all a state of mind, and we can look at it as a decline or really as a rebirth. I have met so many people that have enriched my life as I am in this stage of rediscovery and growth, and I invite you to open your hearts and minds to rediscovering yourself. These concepts may seem a little out there to you, but think about it. Why are you doing what you are doing? Does it bring you joy? Can you use your crystallized intelligence in new ways to improve yourself or to give back and teach others? Can you give back to your community, start a new endeavor, learn something new? Age is just a number, my friends, and that's why I always say, if not now, when? Sometimes we fight against the natural order of things because we want to hold on to what has passed. Or we were so focused on achieving the thing, going through each item on our bucket list, that we don't enjoy the journey. I try to remember every day that I'm exactly where I'm meant to be and everything is perfect and unfolding exactly as it's meant to be for my own growth and evolution. 
The universe is conspiring in our favor, my friends, whether you realize it or not. Do you believe that? If you think that the best was behind you and there's not much more that you can do, then that is exactly what will happen. If, however, you look to the present moment and see all the possibilities it holds, you will see how much the world opens up with all its possibilities. As Wayne Dyer says, when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. Think about what you want for your life right now and in the next 20 or 30 years. I'm here for you if you need guidance. I'm giving away my course, It's My Time Now, for you to learn from, to help you as you navigate these different stages of your life. Reach out to me if you need my guidance or are interested in learning more. Share this podcast with your friends because honestly, this is one of the most vulnerable ones I've recorded yet. And if you really feel like it benefited you, even in some way, please share it. Help me get to 1 million souls, my friend. And thank you for being one of them. In love and in light, my friend. Until next week. Thank you for listening. And I wanted to remind you of my mission and how I am planning on achieving this mission. To reach 1 million women worldwide, I am offering the online learning option of my course, It's My Time Now, at no charge to you. This is a curated journey which I have researched and delivered, consisting of seven modules and 26 lessons of exercises, tools, templates, and videos for you. It will take you through the process called the Pyramid of Reinvention. It will take you through assessing your level of satisfaction in many areas of your life, help you determine your strengths or superpowers, your passions, your changing values, and your reason for being or ikigai. We will then take you through a visualization exercise to meet your inner mentor, which is you 20 years from now. We will go through a process to identify and quieten your inner obstacles and go through methods to increase your confidence so you can reach your inner mentor. Finally, we will lay a framework to work on a plan of action and ways you can be accountable to that plan. This course is available online to work on at your own pace, completely free of charge for you. If you're interested in taking advantage of this incredible opportunity, email me at kavita at powerpurposeplay.ca and tell me why you're interested in receiving this information. We will then forward you the logging information so you can get started right away. There is no catch to this offer, my friend. It is available to you, should you so desire, so you can begin your own journey of reinvention. Remember, email me directly at kavita at powerpurposeplay.ca and I can help you get started today. Share this with even one friend so we can reach our goal of eliminating 1 million lives worldwide. Remember, if not now, when?